And just hours ago, the Coast Guard suspended its search for that last missing boater. As for the survivors, some swam to shore, others spent hours clinging to the capsized boat. Hours later, a tugboat captain hit the stranded boat and called 911. Rescuers in Chopper 10 scrambled to the scene. Isle of Wight called on Chopper 10 to light the river to help search for the boaters. And Melanie Woodrow has been following these details. And Mel, we already know the name of one of the boaters who didn't make it. That's right, 23-year-old Tyler Lorenzi. This afternoon, his neighbor told me that you didn't have to know him but a moment to realize that you were in the presence of a very special person. What likely began as a fun midnight boat ride quickly turned into a tragic night several friends will never forget. It was clearly a very harrowing experience for them being trapped in the middle of the night in the middle of the water and basically swimming for their lives. Their 22-foot sailboat overturned, the cause unknown. From Chopper 10, you can see it floating in the James River. Five friends swam nearly three miles to shore. From Chopper 10, you can see first responders pulling four others from the water. They spent the day looking for another missing boater. More tragedy at the hospital, where boater Tyler Lorenzi died. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that are going to miss him because he was... Um he was going to go really far in life. The news shook Lorenzi's neighbor, Chris Baden. Baden said the young NASA Langley employee impressed him more than most people. That was the kind of person you just knew that he was going to do really, really well. Virginia State Marine Police towed the boat back to shore. Life jackets were on board, but officials said none of the boaters were wearing them. That's why we can't emphasize enough the importance of wearing life jackets. Crews will be back out here Saturday. Baden heard Lorenzi's family is on their way from the West Coast. He finds it hard to believe he'll never see his young neighbor again. I was looking forward to, to, to watching him do things in life because you just knew that Tyler was going to set the world on fire. Officials tell me that as of tomorrow morning, this will be a search and recovery mission. Alvita? Very sad situation. Thanks a lot, Melanie. We're also learning more tonight about the man who died in that accident. Friends describe 23-year-old Tyler Lorenzi as brilliant. He was an associate research engineer at the National Institute of Aerospace in Hampton. He did his research at NASA Langley. Lorenzi went to Northwestern University where he was on the sailing team. Now, according to his Facebook page, his philosophy, go big or go home. Tyler was the only NIA employee on board Six for graduate students at NIA. The company tells us they will have grief counselors on hand on Monday morning.